Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, live trading going on. In my trading room, I was trading with the traders since morning. And uh, in the last uh, about 40 minutes of the market left here. So we see the market since uh, morning remain flat for almost the whole day. And now it is coming down towards filling this gap. And you know, we have been into an expensive market. Now is the time I should start thinking about closing my intraday trades. I've already booked a profit of 10,000 rupees. This one here, I think I'll start by booking profit in one more of my Dabur trades here. So this is one more profit I have booked now. So about 17,000 rupees of profit I have done so far. And I have uh, one Nifty and one Bank Nifty that is uh, going on. And here in my cash, in the morning I had some stop losses hit. But I'm finally getting a chance to get out of that. So I go and I am getting out of this position also. The golden rule of trading, don't allow your profits to turn into losses. This is a golden rule of trading that everybody should follow. And now in the end, I'll focus on an opportunities that are available in the last, you know. So here I have this federal bank and this also I'll square off now at this point and Finished my cash positions with about 906 rupees of loss. And in my futures, I have booked 1700 rupees. And I can book one more of uh, the Nifty now. These are big trades that I have taken, which mean they will automatically square off at 315. And looking at the trend of the market, uh, you know, what I want to see now is, is there a trade that I would like to carry till tomorrow? So I start by looking at the market now, how this market is at the end of the day. And uh, this is my trade left now, the bank nifty, and we see, Bank Drifty has also remained sideways almost for the whole day. And after 2 o'clock, a downtrend has started into this index. So this is where I would like to add a position. And uh, with a, but not in big trade, in a full trade. And maybe this is a position I would like to carry till tomorrow. If I see that uh, proper movement is happening and looking at the index, index is also selling off. I'll also add one more position into the index. One more position I will add uh, into the index. So now the plan is I've already booked a profit of 17,000 rupees. Now this one. I can book since I have another one in its place. Why did I go for an investment trade? So that I could get that extra 15 minutes. So I could get that extra 15 minutes. And uh, Dabur gave me 12,000 rupees. And if you look at Dabur, see, looking at this is. Dabur here, and if I look at the daily chart of Dabur, you see here, this was, these are abnormal moves, they don't sustain for long, very high degree angles, they don't sustain for a long period of time, and they create shorting opportunities, especially if you analyze uh, the stock on uh, various oscillators and indicators, it had given very clear cut divergence. In this market that we are looking now, for example, let's analyze the market. 
if I'm analyzing the market, what I'm seeing is that this market took a breakout from 11.115 and the mirror image of the 23% Fibonacci was 11,440 roughly, somewhere around here, this low. And we see this is where Nifty has already started facing resistance on the upward side. And in the coming days, we need to see whether it will be able to break this level. If it breaks this level, it can jump further up due to liquidity and all the money that is coming into the market. But in case it is not able to break on the upward side, you will see that it might just go through a profit booking phase and uh, come down maybe at 11, 185. And on the way up, this market has left gaps. And we have an expensive market with a PE of about 28 and more. And historically, in the last 20 years, market has never been able to sustain the PE about 28. So the odds of the market going down are more than the odds of the market going up. But in a bull market, in a raging bull market, technicals can take a back seat. Fundamentals can take a back seat and emotions can run the show. And we see for the moment, emotions are running the show. But there are opportunities that are uh, being uh, created. And there are many mid-cap stocks that have correct almost 50%. Just a few days ago, we got a good buying opportunity in Indigo. Indigo dropped down. Around this level, we bought Indigo. And Indigo, this was the target price that we had put. And for three continuous days, Indigo is going up. And it has already achieved more than 50% of the move that we were expecting into it. So even in this market, when everybody thinks everything is going up, there are a lot of selling opportunities that have come. Look at Jet Airways. Jet Airways is already down from 900 to 308. And there were three market movers in the last uh, two months. One was Reliance Industries, other was TCS. And third was HDFC Bank. Let's look at these three stocks, how they are doing. First, if I look at uh, TCS. TCS has been a major contributor to the Nifty. And we are seeing that TCS is rallying up. And around this level, it took a pause. Some profit booking happened. And now it has failed to reach this level and a profit booking has started in DCS also. Looking at HDFC Bank, HDFC Bank has already started the correction. It is falling now for one, two, three, four, five, seven days it is falling. Formed a double top and a doji here. It is said that if you understand properly the doji, the market will come to you and say logic. So here we see a clear cut trend breakdown that has already happened in the HDFC bank. And HDFC bank uh, is a market mover. So if a profit booking is coming into this, I would be a little cautious on the index. Then, if I go to the third one, Reliance Industries. Reliance Industry had come up with a fairly good result on which it started moving up. And if I look at Reliance Industries and I add into this a very simple indicator and try to see is the up move intact or is the up move changing? Those who, all, those who know technicals, they will see that uh, 
the reversal is already starting. I can see a very clear cut reversal whose signs have already started coming in the Reliance Industries. So if I go in Reliance Industries, this is also giving me a selling opportunity now. If I look at and we see Reliance Industries, this has been the high of Reliance Industries 1203. So if I look at Reliance Industries now and uh, go into the future of Reliance Industries, this is Reliance Industries at this point. And I'm seeing I'm already getting a sell entry into this one in Reliance Industries here. And I have sold Reliance Industries based on the chart that I have already seen. Uh, HDFC Bank, the market mover, is falling for almost uh, five days. PCS has already started the fall. So which one is the next in line? The next in line is Reliance Industries. So, and this has rallied up. A profit booking might take it down. And I'm putting my stop loss in this little above. Never trade without a stop loss. It's a golden rule. Don't allow your small profits to become, you know, uh, your small losses to become big losses and allow your small profits to become big profits. So here, a little above this, I'm putting my stop loss at 1206. So I go here and in Reliance, I put my stop loss at 1206, about 9000 rupees of risk I have taken on this one. So now my present position here is I have taken a swing trade in Reliance Industries, I've taken a swing trade in Bank Nifty, I've taken a swing trade in Nifty and uh, you know, I've already booked a profit of 19,876 here. And I have booked a small loss of 9,000 rupees here. Please understand, loss is part and parcel of this business. When I was trading in the morning in my trading room, Bata India went up, hit my stop loss, and I booked a 3,300 rupees of loss in that. You feel very bad, but you still have to go on and keep on your trading and then Sun Pharma gave me money, India Bull Housing Finance gave me some money, Federal Bank my stop loss was hit, Dabur gave me some money and overall I finished with a small loss of 900 rupees but here you know I could make a decent uh, 19,876 rupees you know and uh, I just have to ensure that I do not trade beyond my capacity, number one. Second thing that I have to ensure is that uh, if a profit is coming, I have to lock it and not allow my small losses to become big losses. So this is uh, the trading that is going on 305. Now let's see at this point, what has been moving the market? Now who? What stocks have taken the market up and what stocks have taken the market down? The 50 stocks of Nifty. So, Gale was down, Kotak Bank was down, Dr. Reddy was down, Hindustan Lever was down. These were the stocks that went down. Then if I'm uh, looking at the stocks that went up, so we had Excess Bank that uh, went up. You know, almost 4% and we see now there is some profit booking coming in excess bank creating an opportunity. ICICI bank was up about 3%. SBI was up about 3% here. So what we are seeing is it was banks. Some of the banks, they had uh, led the rally, you know, on the upward side bharti airtel you know this was another one that has gone up and this is a subdued stock if you look at bharti airtel because of geo this stock has not performed it has gone down 
but I still trust the management here. We have a proven business model and the, this company has been able to adapt very fast. So, you know, at these prices, some people even would like to buy this. They would even like to buy this one. So this one, like this stock, even in a bullish market, it has gone down and it is moving up from this level now. Okay. So I will look for buying opportunities into this one here. Then uh, if I look at uh, a stock like Hindalco, the metals, you see metals are also down, but there is still more selling opportunity that you can see in this. There is more selling opportunity that is available here. So when we are coming to this market, you know, you have to uh, book profits in your intraday opportunities after three o'clock. And you also have to see if there is a swing opportunity available. Like for example, in Reliance, looking at the trend of TCS and the trend of, uh, you know, HDFC Bank, the next one where profit booking might come in would be Reliance. And that is one stock I'll keep an eye on. Another thing that I'm looking at relances if i look at the daily trends of relance this is relance and if i add into this the yearly average of the stock We have seen Reliance has gone very far away from its yearly trend line. And uh, the price has become overextended on the upward side. And uh, profit booking is a very natural thing that happens in this scenario that we are looking. For example, if I look at uh, crude oil, if I'm looking at uh, crude oil here, there was a Similar situation here. And I'm looking at again a yearly trend of uh, this particular stock. And I saw this was the same thing that you saw. It became very far away from its uh, yearly trend line and uh, a profit booking uh, took it down. So prices uh, move on this principle. So coming here, if we see, let's say the index now. This is the same thing that is happening in the index also now. It has gone very far away from its yearly trend and a profit booking is the most likely thing that you can see in this one. Same is the case with Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty again has become a little expensive and a profit booking is likely to come into this also. Okay. So when you are uh, trading the markets, you are dealing with prices and uh, you have to understand and uh, take decisions based on what is the likely movement of that price in a day. What is the likely movement of the price in a, in a week? What is the likely movement in a month? This stock has become fundamentally strong. This stock has become fundamentally weak and so on and so forth. Looking back at the index, if I look at the candle pattern, I'm seeing a very clear cut bearishness into the market. There is a selling pressure. We have a small range candle. Uh, inverted hammer and uh, there is a selling pressure that is coming into this market here so if it continues to go down this is where it gapped up and this looks more like an exhaustion gap that normally comes at the end of the move when the retail jumps in thinking this is the best time to enter the stock market so profits so uh, when you are coming into the arena of uh, the stock markets uh, please understand it is a very scientific field it is a very scientific field and you can work based on your 
reward to risk ratios in this. So here if I look at this one here. So we see. Now I will prefer to go into a product where I have limited losses, but I can have unlimited profits. And that product is an option. So I go here and go to Nifty. Uh, put option since I'm looking for a selling opportunity. And I look at uh, 11,500 put option. It is available for uh, 169 rupees. Put option goes up when the market goes down. And in case it goes uh, up, the market goes up, the loss I will have would be limited. But in case uh, the market goes down, the profit I can have is unlimited. So this is one that I will buy swing. It is a myth that in uh, options you cannot uh, put uh, stop losses here. I need to release some funds if I have to enter into this one. So you know, I go in this and uh, here this reliance trade of mine has already started going into you know profits then uh, this is bank nifty which is about 890 rupees of loss when you are uh, and we have a nifty which is moving a little down so i'll wait a little and see where are these uh, trades settling what are they doing and uh, about 314 is the market time now and uh, 15 more minutes of the market is left. So I'll take a decision at about, uh, you know, uh, 325, which one I want to take till tomorrow and which one I want to finish off today. I want to uh, keep Reliance. Reliance, I feel, is a nice opportunity. Now, Nifty here, I have. So what I do is, since I need a little more capital here, so I get out of this. Never be afraid to book small losses. And here I buy the 11,500 put option. I bought. So now I have, you know, a put option of Nifty of 11,500. I'm a short on a bank nifty and I'm relanced. I've relanced that I will be carrying till tomorrow. I would also like to see how have the various sectors performed today. And I see that uh, auto has been a fairly sideways sector today. Commodities has also been a sideways sector today. Consumption has also been a sideways sector, but with a bearish bias. It has started moving down. Thus, uh, public sector enterprises central that has moved uh, down today. Energy has been a flat sector. Financial services is also flat. I'm looking at the one today, which was the weakest. And we see FMCG was a weak sector. And this is the sector that I'd identified in the morning. That's how I got uh, good profits uh, from Dabur. So if I look at a stock like Hindustan Liver, ITC, Hindustan Liver, Hindustan Liver also was a weak stock today moving on the downward side and this is again a stock which has formed a very bearish pattern and is again very far away from its uh, yearly trends and profit booking uh, is a normal thing that might come into this then uh, infrastructure has been a 
weak sector overall and today it has formed a doji this is formed a doji now then uh, it another sector which has been holding the market for quite some time and uh, it has started moving down one stock that i find pretty expensive at that time is infosys it didn't have the results to support it and it has been holding this level for some time so there might be a nice uh, shorting opportunity in this if the market starts moving down media has been a weak sector throughout and in media sector i would be looking for buying opportunities not selling opportunities you know it is said if you want to make money in the stock market you buy people's fear and you sell people's greed in fact one stock you might want to look at and see if there is an opportunity to buy into this might be the pc jewelers which has already fallen down from 600 to 91 but just don't buy because it is 91 you should know where is the bottom is it 70 is it 60 or is it 50 metals has uh, bounced back from the bottom and they are showing signs of fatigue so if i look at uh, tata steel tata steel has already started profit booking and we see this is a stock which is already moving in the downward direction so we are in a market which is uh, which looks very you know bullish but certain sectors and certain stocks are not bullish at all it is the index driven primarily by three or four companies and uh, once they started profit booking you might see that there is some correction that will be coming in the market also pharma has been a expensive uh, sector and i still feel this sector is expensive and more uh, correction is required here or banks are good you know banks uh, you might feel banks are expensive but i believe with the restructuring happening in the banking sector especially the psu banks there will be a lot of buying opportunities that will come in the banking sectors and if you know how to do your fundamental analysis and technical analysis you can find opportunities in that this is PSCs, PSU Bansi, rallying up. Reality is a sector which is still subdued, and still a lot of uh, you know selling is here. This is the sector which needs to be structured. Rera has come in. A lot of good work has already started happening in this sector, but I think uh, there is some more pain that might be available here. but there are many good buying opportunities that are coming into the sector a lot of uh, real estate companies especially that are working with budget housing have already started showing the good results so that's the market for me guys today uh, 321 in 9 minutes the market will close in about 4 minutes i'll take a call with side do i want to go for and if i see here this is relance relance industries is flat on this level so this i will be carrying till tomorrow then i have a bank nifty which is now consolidating and going down and this one also i'll be carrying till tomorrow and uh, we have a nifty i have taken the 11500 put options into this and this i'll also be carrying till tomorrow so to before i close let's see the situation intraday trading stocks i booked a 906 rupees of loss in my intraday derivative trading i booked a profit of 19441 rupees and i'm carrying till tomorrow relance futures a bank nifty futures and a put option of the nifty hope you like the session and enjoyed the session
I'll uh, see you again soon into one of the sessions. Those who want to learn stock market properly, those who want to uh, build their own portfolios, be proficient in all kinds of tradings, you can uh, visit my website or you can uh, call my team on the numbers given below this video and they will help you how you can also achieve this kind of results without being dependent on anybody else. All the best and bye-bye.